what is going on everyone welcome back to another swift tutorial today we're going to be taking a look at how to bring in the facebook sdk into your project more specifically we'll look at setting up facebook analytics so here we're at the developers website for facebook developers.facebook.com and you can take a look at the several things they offer for developer integration and I have to say, over the past uh, 10 years or so, this website has grown to be massive and they offer uh, literally a bunch of things now. Um, analytics are housed under the business offerings as it's more of a businessy thing. So I'd encourage you to take a look at the other things they offer too, it's pretty cool. Uh, but anyways, you'll need to log into this website, which is your Facebook account, of course. And if you're new to the website and Facebook stuff, uh, it will ask you to agree to their developer terms. So once you've done that, most importantly, smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Get excited, get Xcode started, and let's jump into the video. Quick pause before we get into the video. If you haven't seen it already, I am hard at work putting together iosacademy.io, a community where all of us iOS engineers can come together, learn how to build some of the top apps like Facebook, YouTube and Instagram, in addition to interview prep to land some of these iOS roles at top tech companies. So if you're interested in the free and premium content to come, head on over to iosacademy.io and enter your email address in the waitlist form and you will be notified as content becomes available. That said, let's get into the video. So let's get started by creating a new project. We'll stick with a single view application and let's call this Facebook test app and let's save it on our desktop. So we actually don't need to do much setup to begin with in our project. What we want to do is we want to head over to developer.facebook.com and what you want to go ahead and do is there will be a login button up here on the right log in and sign up to be a Facebook developer. There might be some terms you would need to agree to. But anyways, once you are signed up, come back here, hit the drop down for my apps and hit create new app. And we're gonna create a new app and call it Facebook test app. And I actually might give an error because we're using their trademark. Yeah, okay, let's call this, uh, let's call this my test app. Let's see if it lets us do that. Okay, cool. And it wants us to confirm we're not a robot. So let's hit that, let's continue. And now what we essentially wanna do is pick which Facebook uh, developer product we wanna bring into our project. So you can see there are roughly, uh, thir there's 13 here actually. And we're gonna be taking a look at analytics today. So let's come over here and hit setup. And now it wants us to select our platform. So of course we're gonna hit iOS. And then it wants us to pick how we wanna bring in the Facebook SDK. So we've got this drop down here. So we could in fact use any of these, but we're gonna stick with CocoaPods since that's kind of the theme on this channel. And I think CocoaPods are fairly, uh, fairly easy to work with too. We wanna to copy uh, this, which is the name of the package. And let's head on over to our project again, open up terminal, CD into the project, do a pod init, and we can do an open pod file. In here, we wanna add that cocoa pod, like so. And let's hit Command Q to close out text edit, do a pod, install in terminal and I've got all this print out because I've got some weird settings but what you care about in here is this installation for the face Facebook core SDK we can go ahead and close this Xcode window with a command W and we want to open up the project name .xc workspace and let's expand this open up the project up here and we actually need to do one more thing to get this working. And if we hit next here, 
you'll see that what it wants us to do is add this stuff to our info p list, but it shows it to us as source code, so we can hit this copy, and we can simply go to our p list here, right click it, and do open as source code, and in here, we can simply paste in what they have given us. And if you take a look, it actually includes the application ID and such that Facebook has generated for you. Their SDK uses this under the hood to configure things. And that's actually it. That's how you bring Facebook analytics into your project. So if we just hit continue here and keep on going, it'll basically tell us how we can log a custom event, which we'll do in a second. And that's essentially it. So let's actually run the project to make sure nothing is broken and everything is compiling. And we'll see how to log a custom event in the view controller in just a second. So we're building here, we've successfully built, app has launched. Of course, nothing is going on, but if you take a look at the console, what happens is you'll see some Facebook logs in here of what's going on under the hood. But let's see how we can log a custom event. So Facebook has made it super easy to do this. So let's import the SDK to begin with. And there is app event logger, I think it's called, or app events. And we want to call log. And there's a bunch of custom predefined events, uh, as you can see in this enum here. So we can use any of these, or we can use custom events that we create ourselves. So let's say if we want to log content viewed, we can simply call that. And basically it's as simple as that. If we run the app uh, under the hood, when this view did load function gets called, we're calling this, uh, this content viewed uh, log statement. So if we come back to this and go to our dashboard, you'll actually see uh, a bunch of settings for the application. We can add these products, which still remain to be integrated. But if we come to the bottom, you'll see that we've got our analytics set up. Good to go with that check mark. And that's, that's it. That's how you set up Facebook analytics in your project. So I've got some great follow-up videos coming about login with Facebook, which I think is pretty interesting. So that said, make sure you smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new for new Swift tutorials, tech videos follow-up Facebook stuff. If you have any questions or just comments in general, throw them in the comments section down below. I try to reply to every single one. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.